Welcome to Cross the Line Sports here in Mount Moriah for the East Coast Basketball League. I'm Carlos Smith here with the head coach for the Charlotte Tribe. Coach O, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. Man. Yeah, it was just we just just talking off camera just about how fast a year went by. Man. So quick. If you so, feel like the season's over with, and you only got two months to prepare. Right back at it, man. So the man. season. It's crazy how the season we already have with you. So yeah. it's like Back to the grind, back to the grind. I saw recently where you guys are coming off a five game winning streak. Can you talk about what contributed to the team's success around that stretch of time? Man, it started with practice, man. It started with us getting in the gym, you know, getting the chemistry right. Right. Making sure we understood our assignment, making sure everybody understood their role on the team. Mm -hmm. You know, the first couple of games, we lost a combined 10 points. So mm -hmm. we would lose on the last possession. And that's, that, that's just due to the chemistry, man. Just mm -hmm. getting to know one another, getting to know who should get the ball to for the last little shot and stuff like that. So, like I said, after um, when we got to our fourth game, I said, all it's going to take is one. Right. Once we got that one, we got the ball rolling. What is that conversation like? trying to, to define role because you know some guys want the ball in the hands at the end of the game other guys somebody else may want it in but you got to have those conversations and, and just be real about the situation that your team is in oh yeah what is that those conversations like trying to, to have set everybody's role hey, so, sometimes it's difficult because you got to understand a lot of these guys in the situation where they were the man mm -hmm. and so you get on the team where like everybody's the man and you know, they're used to doing certain things. It's all about buying into the system that we have for our for our organization. So not everybody came from the, from a organization where, hey, we need you to do this, we need you to do that, we need you to shoot all the three. Here it's more so like, hey, first and foremost, we start with people. Exactly. Yep. From there, it's not that we don't care about offense, but we kind of know your strength on offense. So we just kind of try to put you in position. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to succeed on the offensive end. So everybody has a role on the offensive end, but depending on how the game is going, is where we're going to go and where the ball is going to go for the most part. I think I said the same thing last year as far as like, one thing that, uh, that travels with any team, no matter where they go, is defense. Yeah. So the defense will create offense. As long as you guys take care of the ball and do what you're supposed to do on the defensive end of the yeah. floor, then everything else will fall into yeah, place. Everything else will definitely fall into place. And that's what I preach, it's just like, hey, if anything, if the offense not scoring, at least the other team can't score either. So exactly. that's my philosophy. Like, if, if we can't score, then they shouldn't be able to score either. So exactly. our main thing is, like, you know, get a couple steals, get a couple layups. Hey, now get the our, our offense started and smart. Got a couple more questions because I know you guys are getting oh, ready yeah. to play. Looking at where you guys are right now, is the team right where you expected it to be, or have you guys exceeded your expectations? Um, we're pretty much right where we want to be. There's still a few things that we still got to work out to mm -hmm. make that playoff push. Because we know down the stretch, every game starts. Like, every game matters, but down the stretch, it's just like you can't afford to lose. You can't afford to mm -hmm. take plays off during the game. You can't afford to do a lot of things as you get down the stretch. Because now you're starting to realize who's in the playoff picture and who's not. So when you realize who's in the playoff picture and stuff like that, everything has a sense of urgency now. Like, everything is tight up to a whole new level. So your focus got to be top notch. This is the first time you guys are playing the Web Dogs this season. It's a totally different team from last year. Yeah. Uh, a lot of new faces. Yeah. Um, what do you expect to see from these guys this time around? Man, um, I definitely expect them to be better than they were last year. I definitely, they always compete. That's the one thing I know about it. They're going to compete until the buzzer goes off, until the mm -hmm. last second runs off that clock. So we have to make sure we match that intensity, match that effort. Um, they definitely got uh, a better team, hard guards and stuff like that. Definitely got to give respect to that. Um, and they just more focused, they're more mm -hmm. focused. And so with a team like that, you have to be careful. You got to make sure you don't come in here lazy and, and, and playing around. You got to make sure you match that energy. You guys have a, a new, a different team as well. Mm -hmm. How does this team differ from the, the team that you guys had assembled last year when, when the Web Dogs first played? I think this year's team has more shooting. Uh, one mm -hmm. of the things that we wanted to address in the offseason is getting more shooting on our team. And so uh, we really did that. Uh, we shoot the ball a lot better than we did last year, uh, especially from the perimeter, uh, which opens up the floor for our bigs. You know, 
not a lot of double team going on because now you got shooters around the perimeter. You don't want to do that. You know, so we got better around the perimeter. Defense is still the same. We're playing great mm -hmm. defense. We're holding our opponents uh, on average 105 points a game. So, you know, with the extra shooting, it definitely does. That's a big deal considering defense is um, – how, how much offenses score a lot, a lot nowadays, especially with the three-point game. Do you feel like overall with the game of basketball, defense is still as valued as, I know you guys emphasize it, but do you feel like the defensive end of the ball is still emphasized as much as it should be, like it used to? Used to? I think it's emphasized, but you have to look at some of the rules right. that mm -hmm. it benefits the offense. Right. So I think teams are still trying to play great defense. It's just that so many rules. It's just like it's tailored more towards the offense and end. So it's more so like the days of saying we locking somebody up is over. Right, right. The word of this era is contained. Right. Try to contain the best player to the best of your ability. You're not going to be able to stop everything that a team does, but for the most part, you got to stop what their go to is, what right. they like to do a lot, and make them right. use everybody else. If you can hold a team somewhere between, like you said, 105, 110, yeah. then you did pretty, oh, a pretty man. good job. You in, you in great shape. Exactly. In, and like I said, all our losses are combined. We had four losses combined 15 minutes. That's not bad at so all. It's like mm -hmm. we're playing defense, but like you said, at the end of the game, who do we give it to? And I think we have addressed that now. So we're pretty much good. Feel it. Finish this sentence for me. We win today's game if. Continue to play the defense we've been playing and making shots. Absolutely. Before we got here, I wanted to let you talk about this league. You know, I saw um, one of the latest polls. I saw that both of you guys were in the top ten. I think y'all were the last one I saw. That you guys were number eight. They were number ten. Yep. Just talk about how competitive uh, this league is overall, and just being in the top ten. Oh man, what the league is doing, especially with the rankings, man. I think it's a great thing. It gives it's an extra incentive for all organizations to mm -hmm. press harder and know where you at during the season against other individual, other teams in the organization. So the league itself has has gotten better, you know what I'm saying? We're implementing new things and just adding in certain things. It just gives an organization an extra incentive to go harder and be more professional. Absolutely. Coach, I appreciate your time. Before we get out here, can we? Can you tell everybody how to find you guys' team on social media so they can continue to support? Okay, um, on um, Instagram, you can find us at Official Charlotte Tribe, Facebook, Charlotte Tribe, and Twitter, uh, Charlotte Tribe. Absolutely. Coach, thank you for your time. Oh, Good luck for today. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate Absolutely. It.